Hi, I'm Elle McCann of Curious Themes Web Design Studio, and in this tutorial we are going to go through how to set up SEO for products on your Shopify site. So in our last video we went through actually picking the best SEO keywords for your online store and products. So in this video we're going to actually implement that, implement that on on-page SEO for your site. So we're going to start first in our products area and I'm just going to create a sample test product. So um, under here under the products little icon on the left side on the products page and we're going to hit add a product. So now that we have our keyword which in this instance we're going to use orange baseball hat as our keyword. There's a few places that we want to make sure that we optimize it on the back end of our product page. So this can obviously be a little bit time consuming doing this for all of your products if you have a lot of products on your e-commerce store. So I definitely recommend going ahead and doing all of this in terms of setting it up for SEO purposes whenever you're first creating the product because it's a lot easier to go through it when you're adding the product now versus going through it later on and having to do hundreds of them at a time. So we are going to first add our keyword that we've chosen to our title. So again, the keyword that we chose, it really kind of always starts with the keywords. We want to make sure it's relevant and that people are actually searching for it, which we went over in the last video in terms of picking that. So we are going to type in our keyword here, which is orange baseball hat. And this is going to be our product title. So this is how the product title is actually going to be listed on the site. So if you want to add more of a description to this and kind of embellish it more and say colorful, orange baseball hat, however you want to name it, but it is definitely going to be great to get the keyword that you've chosen in the actual product title. The next place we want to add it in is the description area, which is here. So this is what your description shows in terms of on your site describing your product and you want to make sure that it's really unique. So don't just copy from the manufacturers. If you're doing drop shipping or a form like that, you want to make sure it's a unique description that's not anything that you've copied online and that it also uses your keyword. So you don't want to just constantly put in your keyword if the sentence is three, if the, the description is three sentences long, you don't want to have your keyword listed 10 times in three sentences. That's going to be a little bit too much. However, you want it to read very conversationally so that you're describing the product and using the keyword but you're also not overdoing it. So we would first type it into this area as well and have it more in a sentence structure. So I'm just going to type in a, a sample. And of course you would want to make it a little bit more descriptive and not just a sentence, but this is just a sample going through. The next area that we're going to add our keyword is going to be our image. So we want to actually add it in two places on your image. So I'm going to first upload my image here. And I've already created a sample image. And I have named it Test Company Orange Baseball Hat JPEG. So we want to make sure that we put the keyword in the actual product image file name. So this is really helpful when being pulled in for Google image searches, which is a great way for people to find your products. So the test company would just be your name of your company and then the product's name with the keyword in there. So we're going to go ahead and click open and that's uploaded it here. So now we have it in the image file name, but we also want to add it in the product alt tag. So to do that, we're going to just hover over this and we're going to hit this alt, which is the edit alt text. So we're clicking on that and we're just going to type that in again here. And we can make it a little bit more embellished and say by test company. So again, put your company name there and we will hit done. So the alt text is shown if for whatever reason your image isn't showing on your website, that's going to be showing the actual text that we've just assigned that. So a lot of times it's not seen unless someone hovers over the image, but the search engines definitely use it in pulling things into Google image searches and deciding when to show certain pieces of content. So we're not going to worry about any of this over here in the right column because that's not necessarily 
specific to our search engine optimization that we're doing now. And we're not going to do any of this pricing either. The next and final area that we're going to edit in terms of optimizing our product for the search engines is going to be down here. So right now you can see this search engine listing preview. So this is showing you exactly how it's showing up in the search engines. So this is what we've typed in as our product title. This is our URL handle and this is the description that we've added in. So this automatically pulls in the product title and the product description and then creates the URL handle based on the product title. But you can also go in and edit this. So we're gonna hit Edit Website SEO. And here you can see that we have kind of a limit that's recommended. So we have 36 more characters to add into the page title area and 113 more characters that we can add into the meta description. So if you go over these, it'll still be saved for your product. However, it'll have the ellipsis, the dot, dot, dot in the actual Google search results, which is not the best. So you do want to make sure you try and get it under these actual guidelines for how many characters you have left. So we are going to just add in a little bit more here to fill that out a little bit more and then we could add in more of a meta description here um, that ties in the keyword and, and it's descriptive. So we're not going to do that right now since this is just for test purposes. So the URL handle, which is here, so this is how the URL that your product would actually be found at online. So the orange baseball hat was put in automatically since that's what we named our product. If you did your product name something different, you would want to add in the keyword here as well just to make sure that that's being pulled into the URL handle. And those are the different areas that we are going to optimize on our Shopify site. So you would go through this process for all of your products as you're creating them. And if you have other products that are already created, I would definitely recommend going back in and editing these things for all of those products. The same techniques can also be used on your Shopify pages, your Shopify blog posts, and other areas like that of your site in terms of making sure that you pick the best keywords, you're using it in the actual post or page title, using it a few times in the description, and also any images that you're using that you save the image name and also the image alt tag as that as well. Okay, and then you would just hit save product and that's how you optimize your product in Shopify.